parliamentary updates. In Living Color, the first fine art photography exhibition to be held at the Rotunda Gallery was launched on Thursday, June 28, 2023. Over 50 photographers of varying experience got the opportunity to showcase their talent through snapshots representative of Trinidad and Tobago that focus on elements of architectural and natural landscapes, culture, and portraiture. Photography techniques included the use of digital enhancement tools to manipulate images. The Honorable Bridget Anisette George, Speaker of the House of Representatives, opened the exhibition. The current exhibition is, like all its predecessors, special, but it has its own significance as it is exclusive to the art of photography. We at the Rotunda Gallery are paying homage to one of the foundational characteristics of a modern parliament, that is inclusiveness. All are welcome here, all have a voice here, and photography being a valid art form, although being belatedly so recognized, is being accepted and shown here. The exhibition today gives photo photographers a platform to display their work in a gallery setting so that the public is able to see their story and view their work as an expression of art. Photographers can tell a story about a place, culture, landscape, and even people. This is their way of documenting their experience to share with an audience. The speaker outlined the duty of all parliaments to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals by 2030 and made the link between the latest collection and SDG goal number nine towards building a resilient infrastructure, promoting inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and fostering innovation. As Parliament, our outreach program and the Rotunda Gallery create a platform for citizens' self-expression, self-reflection, and a venue for visitors and users of the parliamentary precincts to interface with and experience our history, our culture, our talent, our creative expression as a people in the halls of their democracy. The enthusiasm of the photographers on hand was palpable as they all mixed and mingled in the space, novices and professionals sharing experiences. The Parliament Channel interviewed several. Describe your photography. I would describe my photography as taking the natural and enhancing it to be beyond belief. The piece I have today is actually a sprinkle of bliss. It was a piece that I did with my friend Sprinkle. Um, the two of us, we actually wanted to portray a very sunny, very bright, uh, vibrant image that showcases the natural beauty of the black woman, but also to bring about some sort of bliss. So when we thought bliss, we thought flowers, right? So we actually used a sunflower field to actually take the image um, to have the entire photo shoot done in between two rows of sunflowers. I would describe my photography as a way of art. It is a variety of dark and I like patterns. I find patterns are very beautiful and it's just the way I see it. It's just, it comes to me. The top one, Catching Nature's Tears, was taken in Esperanza in Trinidad. Um, it was a little pot that I saw with water and it was gorgeously found how the colours hit it and the light and how the droplets were boldly shown with the depth of them and I loved how it showed. And then See the Way was just a moment when I was walking down a path in the mangroves plantation in Tobago and it was a really cool moment with the branches arching over and the lighting hitting the thing and I just loved how it was caught. There are many styles to my photography, but I try to capture movement and people. What I find inspirational within that, it's we are such a dynamic people and it is so great to capture people in their element, not posing. I don't like, I don't like when people pose. I like to capture, you know, those brief moments in between, you know, that 
you know, the facial expressions because it captures who you really are. And I think that is the medium within which I use a lot. Um, I've also started to explore doing a lot of sport and because in the, in the face of defeat or in the face of, of someone just gasping for air, you know, when you're able to capture that moment, you, you capture a priceless um, avenue. And, and I think that is, that is what I hope to always do. Papi, it was, it was interesting because I was doing what I call a photography walk. I was just walking around. Um, I decided to walk into Belmont and he was fixing his car. And he just caught me as a, as a great figure and I started to talk to him and I said, can I take your picture while you work? And said, yes. And what turned out to be about 150 pictures that I took of him. And this one just struck me. Um, but there was, it was so many because he was so lively and so interesting. And he told me a story of working offshore, working in Venezuela, working in Colombia and coming back. And so um, I think it captures the essence of him. It captures who he really is without, you know, need for any layers or any Photoshop. It is just an essence of a character. I would like to describe it as portraiture and I'm kind of guiding myself into documentary photography because I, I feel like there's a lot of stories to be told in Trinidad and just in general and photography is just the medium which I connect to the most. I would describe it as a major of art and well, realism or I capture real life moments. So it's more about the emotion in the moment. So for example, like weddings and stuff like that, they try to capture the emotion. So it doesn't have to always be perfectly technically sung, but it's more about capturing the emotion of, um, that the person would have in the moment. So with this particular piece, um, it was more about trying to present an emotion that I was feeling at the moment. It's a bit of a kind of um, personal story, but it was trying to um, present an emotion that I felt in the moment and leave it to interpretation by, by the viewer. My photography is based on my makeup artistry, so that's where most of my work is stem stems from. My photography is primarily portraits, um, more conceptual, with a fashion slant. Um, I like to start from a basic, nice, well-lit, in-camera um, portrait photography. Um, editing and Photoshop is a fantastic tools, um, which assist, but I think I try to get it right in camera as much as I can. And most of the times I have the time to really get it right, to get the right shots. Um, so I would say it's more, you know, more creative type portraits that I try to create. So this idea came to me while shooting. Um, I used for a previous shoot um, the paper for a backdrop and I had to cut it off. So instead of discarding it, what I did was I crumpled it up and I asked the mother's permission to wrap it around her and then creating some more tears just to have like a kind of flame, like she's on fire, you know, like a phoenix rising from the ashes being burnt. So that was the whole idea. And for me, the colors, especially with her skin tone, worked very well. What does photography mean to you? To me, photography is an expression of self. Um, it is an art form where you, as the individual, are able to portray your emotions, your feelings through an image and hope that the public, whoever views it, whether it's on Instagram or in a gallery exhibit, um, are able to get the same feelings that you are trying to project onto them. Photography means like a story. When I take a picture, I like to find a story behind it. If it doesn't have a story, then it doesn't really show art. I like, it takes me a while to find the pictures because I like to perfect each one and have it beautifully shown as I see it for others to see. It means an expression to get out of the boredom of, of normal life, of, of work, so that um, what, I, what I normally do is I take, I take time out of my day um, whether it be after work or at a lunchtime and just take and just try to go somewhere and take a photograph to just you know remove the mundane because we get caught up a lot in a nine to five and we lose the beauty and we lose you know seeing those moments that we ca you can capture every day because once you take a photo you realize that you have that image 
you know, for forever. And so that is what I try to do. My photography and what inspires me is just the beauty all around us. It means an outlet for my creative expression, an outlet for me to communicate things that I can't easily communicate. And it's just, it's very important to me because it's my way of how I interpret the world, how I interact with the world, and the people around me, and the things around me. So it's just really my perspective of life. In one word, photography would mean to me um, a legacy. But what I'm trying to do or, or build with my photography is to sort of create a legacy or like leave a mark, a, a, some sort of mark in, in Trinidad and Tobago. I would, I'd like to leave something that my daughter can look up, look back on, and say, OK, yes, her dad did this. It's definitely an expression, um, some, a way that I could express myself and my work and the things that I have in my head so I don't have them all bottled up in me so I could express it some way and that's why it is for me. So this is the modern day Blue Devil, so this was a concept that I had. I wanted to take the traditional concept of the Blue Devil and turn it into something a bit more high fashion and contemporary. So this is what this is. And yeah, this was shot in the San Juan market. And it's just a expression that you could take things that are closest to you and bring about something like this. Photography means balance, creative expression trying new things, learning new things. Photography also means community, you know, sharing your work, collaborating with other creatives, be it makeup artists, other photographers. Um, creative, um, photography, I think, is just all-encompassing art. And I think it's something that we can use to express ourselves, to tell stories, and um, to share to the world our vision of what we think the world could be. What makes a good photo? What makes a good photo, I would say, would be uh, the angles, the uh, feelings behind it, uh, the, the scenery, let's say you put some props, or, you know, it, it could even be simple, like a street or a building, it could be uh, anything along those lines, but how we see it as individuals. Everyone has their own perspective. All right, so to be honest, what makes a good photo? To be honest, everyone has their own interpretation of a good photo, all right? It's up to the interpretation of the viewer. A good photo is whatever you make it. What, what is beautiful in my eyes may not, be, may not catch you, but um, the beauty of people, um, the beauty of movement, um, being able to capture singular moments, um, photography is anything you want to make it to be. Um, there are some people that are very rigid in terms of it has to line up a certain way, an arm mustn't be missing or a feather mustn't be out of place, but no, it's capturing the essence of people and once you capture the essence, I think that, that takes you a long way. I think whatever the person has in mind to capture is Whatever their creativity is, what they will want to capture is what makes the photography meaningful and expressive. And I think that's the most important thing. Once you're willing to put something or see something in front of you, you should be able to express what it is that you're seeing. And I think that makes the best photo. I think a lot of things makes a good photograph. Firstly, all of the elements that you learn um, when you're learning about photography, so composition, the certain, getting certain lines correct, color editing, all of those things make a good photograph. But personally, I think when you have a good eye, you have a good eye. When you get it, when you connect with your subject, and you connect with your muse, and connect with yourself, because the more you connect with yourself, you know what is your goal um, of shooting. Even if it's something like you're just walking around town and taking pictures, what are you trying to shoot, who are you trying to shoot, what are you trying to portray. Once you connect to that, you'll have a good picture no matter what. What makes a good photo, I think, is intent. Intention is important. Sometimes you have, you're in the right place at the right time, but I think intention leads to a good photograph. And you may not get it initially, but the, at the end you will get it. So there's a lot of things you might have to work out, 
but the intention to get something interesting or creative I think is important or you have a general idea or concept that you want to try to express right be it beauty poverty rage sadness aggression um, skin to being happy and safe in your own skin all those things once you have an idea you can build the ideas and the execution around that idea how do you feel about exhibiting at the gallery Oh no, it was actually, a, it was really good. It was really good. It was a, a good feeling to know that um, Trinidad and Tobago is actually pushing towards showcasing the talent, the local talent of photographers. Sometimes um, an individual may feel like, you know, they're doing this by themselves and no one's appreciating it, but giving us the opportunity to actually showcase our photography uh, in an exhibit of this level, perfect. Uh, yes, it is my first time. It's very exciting and I'm very honored to have my pictures here as well as all these other incredible photographers. It's a very big thing to me. Yes, this is the first time I'm exhibiting. I was shocked to even be chosen, but I, I am very appreciative of it. I was excited but like nervous because I didn't know like if my picture was like gonna be put up against like, you know, amazing photographers. But I got a nice little section here. So I really like it. Yeah. Ecstatic. Uh, uh, Oh, 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 overjoyed. It's something that's, that has been a dream of mine. I didn't really think it would be possible this early on in my photography journey, but I was really pleased and excited that it actually happened. I was really excited and I was really happy. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be here exhibiting my work. Mr. Gonzalez, who has exhibited solo and in group exhibitions, spoke about the importance of photographers showing their work. Thing is that I wanted to show the photographers that you can and should show your work and that I just hope that that was one example of other photographers coming and seeing it and then they get any the confidence now to have their own show or group shows or getting three four five other photographers and having a group show together to print the work and show it off I think the emotional response of seeing it physically it's much greater than if you were to watch it on your phone or your iPad. So I think, um, I think showing off the work is important. Yeah. Thanks for the opportunity. Everyone is encouraged to visit the gallery, which is open from Monday to Friday during the hours of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Entrance is free of charge. In Living Color, a fine art exhibition ran from Monday, June 26th to Friday, July 7th. Stay tuned for further parliamentary updates. For more information, visit our website at www.ttparliament.org and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Parliamentary Updates.